Welcome to this video. In this video, I want to talk about the data browser. So with the transaction code SE16. Um, if you enter the transaction code SE16 within a command field, then you will open up the so-called data browser. In Airfox, of course, I know that there is a transaction code SE16N, where you can also open up the general table display, a little more modern version, and the HANA-oriented transaction, the SE16H. But right now, in this video, I would like to just talk about the SE16 because, yeah, I think it's the oldest one and I personally use the SE16N, but there are some great functionalities I would like to show you within this video. So let's get started and enjoy this video. As mentioned, you can open up the data browser with the transaction code SE16 and it's the oldest transaction compared to the SE16N and the SE16N. 16H and here right now within the SE16 you can enter one table name and within the F4 help so with a 4 key on your keyboard or within this button there you can basically search for any table existing within your SAP system um, so once you typed in your table name, then you can click on table contents to open up this selection screen to basically based on the components of the table to yeah, basically search for different entries. If we're going one step back, then you have also the possibility to create entries within this table if you have the authorization, of course, and if we're uh, going back, then and you can within here um, maintain the user parameters. We will focus and see more closely in a couple of seconds. And within here, you can open up the online manual. But right now, first of all, within the table contents, you have the ability to basically search for different entries. So you can within here type in different selection criteria to limit your search entries and just to show the entries you would like to show within here. So if you, for example, execute um, the search, then all the um, entries based on a selection criteria will be listed within this view. And you can also change the output columns within the output list. And therefore you have to go to settings, format list, choose fields. And then within here, you can basically yeah, deselect everything, every field and just select, for example, those three columns, click on apply and those columns just will be shown. Once again, you can change it always back uh, once again if you for example select every column and click on apply and then within here every column will be shown this can be quite useful for example if you would like to change the output of the output columns and um, within here this is really nice functionality because if you set the focus in one of the selection criteria and you click on selection options then you can immediately change the selection options so what you also can do is that you click on this multiple selection button and then click on the selection options button and then you are right now here. But it, I think it's uh, easier to just click on the selection option. Then if you would just erase your input within the selection uh, criteria, you can delete the selection row. You also get a nice uh, help within the selection criteria and within here, if you just would like to know how many entries are there based on your selection criteria, then you can just click on number of entries and then you can see that right now in the table S flight, there are currently 300 56 entries based on my selection criteria. So once again, uh, if you execute, then you will here see the output right now in the yeah in, in one list uh, option. And if you click on settings, 
and then user parameters then we can see right now that based on the output list that currently the se16 standard list is being used and yeah therefore all the options to create entries um, so within here once again you can create an entry you can select one entry you click on change you can change one entry and you can also display uh, the entry more closely and and for example, you can choose one and you can you can sort it, you can select everything, you can deselect everything, you can refresh the output. Uh, you can also do, for example, check the table to see what kind of uh, table is involved in the foreign key. So just click on there and then you will see um, yeah, that now currently the foreign key is the S C A R R. So there are a lot of functionalities within the SE16 standard list. But once again, if we're going to settings and user parameters, then we can see that you have also the possibility to, yeah, to, to change and to choose another option. So for example, the ALV list. So if we choose this one, then you can see that the output changed. And what is really great, because now we're using the ALV grid control that you have more functionalities. So right now you also have the functionality to set filters, to display the sum, to, um, yeah, to, to call a spreadsheet, to uh, work with a word, to export your data in a local file, to send it and so and to change the layout and to, yeah, to move to another column and so on if you're using uh, multiple columns. So I think this is the advanced version. Um, and this is really great. And if we're going once again to settings and user parameters, then you can also choose the ALV grid display. And if we're choosing this, then we have yeah, this is the, the I think the, the modern version of the ALV output. Um, I prefer, and this is this is I think really really great. And uh, yeah, if we're going once again to the user parameters, then you have also the option to display the maximum number of hits. Because right now I can just see yeah, what is the limitation. So the selected entries up to 200, but I don't know what is the maximum number of elements. So if you select display maximum number of hits, then you will see right now here that the maximum number of hits will be shown. And if we're going to settings, user parameters, then you have also the option to, to change the width of output list and to change the maximum number of hits so that those two values will be pre-filled. So for example, if I change this to 500 and confirm it and go a couple of steps back, then here I call it once again, we can see that the width of output list has immediately changed up to 500. And yeah, this is, I think, really, really great. So once again, to use the parameters, uh, you can also change the shown keyword within the header row because currently I'm showing the field name, so the technical name. And if I just would like to show the description, then I can switch to field label and confirm it and done. then now I will see the description of this columns. This is really great. To show you the last option respect conversion exit, I have to go to another table. So I will go a couple of steps back. So for example, to the key and a one table. Um, yeah, by the way, for example, now I hit the enter key and that's the same if it is, if you would click on this table of contents button and then I will execute this. And now right now we can see that based on the customer column that um, the field of the length will be pre-filled with zeros and if you just would like to get rid of this kind of yeah, non-conversion then you can use the setting respect conversion exit and if you select this and confirm that you will see that this is the beginning the, the zeros at the beginning won't be shown that just the value itself will be shown within here so I think this is also uh, quite useful for you. And for example, 
What I can also highlight is that the quick filtering. So, for example, if you would like to filter for a specific value, just yeah, just use this for demo purposes. I copy this. Uh, so normally, what it can do to filter is that you select the column and that you would like to filter, and then you click on the set filter button, and then you paste in your value that you would like to use in the filter, and then you confirm your filter. And now you can just see the filtered entries. So now what you also can do is you can right click on the column and then choose set filter and then within here you can also put in your filter that you would like to use. So now I would like to get rid of this to show you all the entries. I think this is a really nice feature uh, within the AV grid control in general and also in SE16. And yeah, as mentioned, for example, here within the change layout button, there you have a lot of functionalities to change your output to change your um, ALV grid control, you can uh, use, um, yeah, you can uh, remove horizontal grid, li grid lines, uh, vertical grid lines, uh, column headlines, uh, merging during sorts, and so on. So, yeah, I think those are really, really great uh, possibilities within the ALV grid control in general. Here, you can just use uh, the preferred few that you would like to use. So, for example, maybe if you would like to use Excel depends on your setting um, yeah this is I think kind of like uh, useful and for example within filter there you can yeah pre-use uh, some filters pre-use some order and so on and if you click for example on the save as then within here you have also the possibility to save this layout use specific just for your SAP user and if you would like to use it as default and yeah by the way I think those are quite um, useful functions within the data browser if you have any questions left please put them in the comment section and please like this video if you like this and subscribe to this youtube channel to support my work thank you so much and then see you in the next video